In this video, we're going to look at the Pro Tools menu structure. There are a lot of menus in Pro Tools, and it's a great idea to understand the basic system of organization. First, we'll start with the file menu. The file menu contains the commands that let you create and modify sessions. And that includes options for opening, creating, and saving sessions, for bouncing tracks, for importing and exporting session components, and for setting up your score. Next, we have the edit menu. This is the location for all the commands that let you edit and manipulate data in the timeline. And you can see options in here for undo and redo, restore last selection, cut, copy, paste, cut, copy, paste special, making selections, and then some basic edit commands like duplicate, repeat, shift, as well as some more advanced items like trimming, separating, and consolidating. Next, we have the view menu. And this menu controls how data is displayed in the various Pro Tools windows. As you can see, select the window that you want to modify and then simply select or deselect items in the list to show or hide display components. It's important to note that the view menu works in conjunction with the window menu to control which windows are displayed and which components of those windows are visible. Next we have the track menu and this menu is used to create and modify tracks in the session. Next we have the clip menu and this is where you come to modify data in your clips. It includes items such as clip grouping, clip looping, capturing, renaming, and adjusting elastic audio properties. Next we have the event menu, which I generally think of as the MIDI menu. This is a location for commands that are used to modify time, tempo, and event operations, such as changing quantization, velocity, and transposition. You can also find MIDI real-time properties here, as well as Beat Detective. The next menu is the Audio Suite menu. This is where you can view all of the Audio Suite plugins that are currently installed in your system. Audio Suite plugins are used for non-real-time file-based processing in Pro Tools. Next, we have the Options menu, which displays a huge variety of editing, recording, monitoring, playback, and display options. The next menu is the Setup menu, which lets you configure various settings for your hardware and software. You can see that this includes things like hardware setup, playback engine, configuring your I.O., and configuring your MIDI Studio setup. Now, one way that I try to remember the difference between Setup and Options is that in Options, you typically have commands that are enabled and disabled, like Loop Record and Loop Playback and enabling the click, whereas the Setup menu is where you come to change the configuration of your system. The next menu is the Window menu. This is where you can open and close most of the different windows that you'll find inside Pro Tools. Now, again, it's important to remember that if you want to change the actual contents of these windows, you typically need to use the View menu. And this is where you can find items like the Mix and Edit windows, the MIDI editor, the Score editor, and the Transport. Then we have the Marketplace menu, which is something that's new in Pro Tools 10. And this is where you can access your Avid account and check out plugins, support and training, and upgrade options. The final menu is the Help menu, and this provides links to all kinds of Pro Tools documentation, including the Pro Tools online help system and the Pro Tools knowledge base. Another great resource that you can find in here is the Avid audio forums which are very popular with Pro Tools users. So that's a basic overview of the Pro Tools menu structure.